Okay, guys and gals, if you could uh, visit daytradingthefutures.com and uh, look at our risk disclosure or risk disclaimer and uh, make sure that you understand that there is a risk of loss in futures, forex, currency, options, and stocks. Please look at the complete risk disclosure. Read the CFTC rule 4.41 to make sure that uh, you understand uh, that we do have uh, the, the risk disclosure at our website uh, before you view these charts. Let's get rolling today. I'm actually going to go over some live trading on uh, several different markets when the markets are ticking live for you. So let's get rolling. Let's look at crude oil futures first. Um, first of all, what we have is we have three charts that we work off of in all markets. This system works on all futures, all forex, all currency, and all stocks right across the board. And what we're looking at is we have three charts that it's comprised of. On the left side, is our, that's our market profile chart. I have a more volume-based profiles, and also I have uh, price-based profiles. Volume are your solid lines. Your price-based are the dotted lines. These set has been working for almost 32 years now. And if you look what's happening with this current trade, is that we have a trend filter built in. Uh, moving averages to me are worthless. You can't uh, really find support and resistance with moving averages and stochastics and the moving average convergence, divergence. To me, those are, are worthless indicators, but they're great for trend direction, especially moving averages. I don't use them for support and resistance. I don't believe in them. They're lagging indicators, but I do believe in market profile. So you can see what's happening right here is we, this is one of our setups is that we had a breakdown of the market, the trend filters down, our two moving averages are down, and I'm looking for a retest of low value area. And notice how market profile stopped to the exact tick right there. And what happened right here, let me stop this uh, on, uh, to, to review this trade, is that if you notice, we had a breakdown of low value area, we had a retest of low value area, and that is telling us that this is a short opportunity right at low value area retest. I trade market profile quite differently. I've got a proprietary technique how to enter these markets um, at a certain level. Sometimes my profile will call it to the exact tick, just like this trade set up right here. This is set up in my trading room. We were down at 30, and I told traders, look for a 50 retest. My low value area was right at 50, and sure enough, it comes right up to the exact tick in crude oil one of the most volatile markets like gold, and it stopped at the exact tick and reversed. Now, how did I know to short the LVA? Let me break this down before I play these videos, and I'm going to go over several videos that we're showing live market data uh, uh, moving, is that the first thing you want to look at is, are, are these um, moving averages. Moving averages to me, like I said, are worthless for, uh, for support and resistance, great for trend direction, uh, but market profile has been working since 1985. And the best thing about market profile is it it's a true internals of the market and it shows you major support and resistance. So my methodology, if you look at my trend filter, my trend filter, I got two MAs on there. If I'm angled down, I'm selling retracements. Where a lot of market profile participants, they're trying to buy low value area right here. I want it to break retest. And this is what separates us from a lot of market profile traders. So what we're looking for is if my trend filter is down, I'm selling break retest of low value area, or I'm selling a retest of the control point, which is the most volume it's traded, or the high value area up here at 45. So when we come down to low value area, what I want to see happen is I want to see it break through low value, retest low value, and then I want to see market delta over here give me a order imbalance to show me that I have a big sell imbalance in the market, and I'm looking for a major sell-off. And this is exactly what we want to see. And I'm going to show you tons and tons of charts where the same exact setup has been happening almost 32 years in a row now. And that's the beauty of this system. Now, so my left chart, I've got volume-based profiles that's been around since 1994. And I've have, I have price-based uh, uh, profiles that's been around since 1985. So if you see the solid lines, these are more volume based the blue lines the most volume that's traded in that market on that day and that session the high value being red the blue being the control point and the low value being L I mean um, green so what I want to see happen is if I'm in a downtrend my methodology states 
that if I break below low value, I want to retest low value, and I want to look for a market double sell. Now, I have these three charts. This is how we line up our, our trading room and our live room. There's three charts to trade off of. These first two charts are the setup charts. And, you know, the, the cool thing what, what that we use is that we use very complex, sophisticated algorithm right here that uses mathematical equations to find support and resistance. But we also use market delta over here that looks at the, the uh, buy and sell imbalances between the bid and ask to really look at the internals of the market. This is not trading. We, we, we are not trading lagging indicators. We're not using moving averages that are in a, we're in a hard downtrend. Let's look for a stochastic retest on moving averages in a downtrend. Those are for novice traders because what happens is, is you can see stochastics can stay oversold for a long, long time or overbought for a long, long time. So you may, may trade off of stochastic retracements and downtrends, but you're going to get hammered quite a bit. And that's not a winning trading plan or using the moving average convergence divergence, or using divergence. You know, those are lagging indicators where market profile and market delta and Fibonacci retracements, these are leading indicators. And that's what separates the system from a lot of systems out there. And, um, you know, you got to trade leading indicators, in other words. So let me play the video on what we got going on here. But... Um, if you want to visit daytradingthefutures.com, okay, I'm going to walk you through a lot of videos here. If you play daytradingthefutures.com, you'll see that that we love to let low value area break, retest. I got a 135 page PDF that tells you my exact trading rules. We know the exact bar to pull the trigger, the exact stop to place the stop, and we know the exact targets. Our stops are two ticks above this market delta. So let me go over this. A, a trade setup here and we're going to walk through this here for you real quick and let this thing play. So what we're going to do is that right now we broke through low value. So what I'm doing is, is I'm looking for a retest of 45.50. I stated this in my room. I said the exact level of 45.50, I'm looking for a short. Now my next chart are Fibonacci retracement charts. I'm looking for confluence on a Fibonacci retracement. I need my red Fib dots to pop up pretty much at the same time it's retesting the low value area. You can see my red bid, fib dots are popping up. Now I need to see an order and balance tail in here between the bid and the ask. Do we, got, uh, do we have a, a selling commitment to the downside? Yes, we do. Once we close there at the 45, uh, 45.42, you could open up at the next bar. Your stop loss is two ticks above that swing high. Now look at the follow through you get. Look at the follow through. Not only did my two setups charts call the setup area, you broke LVA, you retested low value area with trend. It's called a motive wave. We had a market delta that gave us a sell right at the swing of the move. Our stop loss is two ticks above the swing high, and this is all markets. It doesn't matter what market you trade. It's all markets. It's two ticks above the swing high if you're selling, two ticks below the swing low if you're buying. So I use these two charts, Fibonacci retracements and also market profile, when they marry together or they, or they line up together, you have two different strategies that's coming together at the same price point in time. Now, what I'm going to show you guys and gals is that I'm going to show you this market profile chart is very, very accurate, is that what happens is that you get confluence at the same time. Now, let me show you with the Fibonacci retracements. Here's my market delta chart. Let's, let's zone in a little bit further. Here's my Fibonacci retracement. We're in a downtrend right now on crude. My Fibonacci dots are printing. So now I want the market delta to close red over here. I want to see a close red. If you notice down here, I got numbers that are printing. This tells me if there's a sell imbalance. This is the internals of the market. I'm not trading moving averages. I'm not trading stochastics. I'm not trading, you know, divergence. Those are for novice traders. This is the internals of the market. Until you start understanding that, you're, you're, you're not going to understand price action very well. We call this the order flow system. Because what it does is picking the order flow. Look at my Fibonacci retracement. Look how we turned red market delta. Now in crude oil, any number over 200, I have a proprietary Renko bar. I don't trade off volume charts. I don't trade off the minute charts. I don't trade off tick charts. I don't trade off of volume charts. I trade off my own proprietary Renko bar. Because my Renko bar works very, very well with the, um, 
Fibonacci retracements and market build. It shows me a true imbalance. Anything over 200 right here on crude oil, right there, is a big imbalance. Look at that. Look at that follow through we're getting. All right, that was all called with Fibonacci retracements. Come up first, it set the trade up, and then market delta, it fired us in the trade at 341. Anything over 200 is a big selling balance. Now listen, our stops are, are very small. Our stops are two ticks above the swing high. We don't risk more than $150 per one contract, no matter what, on crude oil or gold, because those are our two favorite markets in the live room that we trade. But what we do is, is we put our stop loss two ticks above the swing high. So that lowers our stop to an average around 12 to 13 ticks per trade. So in this trade setup, when the entry was at 45.35, you're almost at $350 per one contract right here, that your maximum risk after we adjusted two ticks above that swing high was 120 bucks. You just almost made $400 with a maximum risk of 120. See guys and gals, the thing about it is, it's all about the reward to risk. It's about the reward to risk. If you can understand that, you can do very, very well in the futures market. It's not about the percentage, okay, I, I, I'm a 92% trader on my, on my entries, really? Well, what's your reward to risk? Because if you're trading the S&P and you're making a point, but you're risking three, I don't care if you're 92% accurate, what's going to happen is, is that you're probably going to have a losing you know, trading plan. So we've got to have a good reward to risk. Look at this trade setup. It's all the way down into the 45s, the, the entry was a perfect entry at the 35 level. Now you got yourself just about $350 per one contract. And look at market delta. Sells all the way down. No need to get worried about this setup because I got sell imbalances. I'm looking at the internals of the market, not divergence, not MAC, the MAC, not, not, not any moving averages. Those are for the, no, let the novice traders keep, keep trading the moving averages and stochastic retracements. We're looking at the internals of the market. That's what separates us from all the chaff out there because we're looking exactly what's going on with the internals of the market. These Fibonacci dots do not pop up. They won't even come up unless there's confluence. You, you, you got all these Fibonacci traders out there. They don't know where to take the swing high and swing low from, right? You don't know which swing high and swing low to take. You have no clue. I have no clue. What's happening is this algorithm, what it's doing, it's picking up. It's picking up the sweet spot on the retracement and consequently at the same time we're looking for market delta to pop us in the trade. All right? It just doesn't get any sweeter than that. I mean, look at that. Look, look at those fib retracements. One, two, three. Three for three and market delta called every swing. This one was market delta confirmed on this Fibonacci retracement. Look at that. Two ticks above the swing high. And this Fibonacci retracement, market delta, the internals of the market, call that swing high also. Remember, our stop is two ticks above the swing high. This is more about being a systematic trader. It's about execution and discipline. Let the algorithm do the work for you. And don't listen to me, it's not my opinion. I put this together, right, because it's my proprietary technique. But listen to the algorithm. The computer and the software will do the work for you, okay? We couldn't even trade this, okay, before we had quad computers. The system would stall without quads because I got so many mathematical combinations working in the background. That's the beauty of the system. All right, let's, let's, let's keep rolling here a little bit. So this black line, let me tell you a little about this black line. That's a line in the sand. That tells me that's the last level of retracement that I can get We're in a downturn or uptrend. Let's look at it right here. Here's the line in the sand. Here's a, here's a crude oil trade. We're in a downtrend. My trend filter was in a downtrend. First, we need to know the trend. Either we're moving up, we're moving down, or we're going sideways, right? The markets can only do th two things, guys. We go vertical up, vertical down, or we go sideways chop. The system works both. Well, we're down on this situation, and we're looking for a Fibonacci retracement. So what I want to do is the, the system is starts confluing right here. See how it starts confluing with Fibonacci dots? It's looking for an 11.01 retracement, a 6.54 retracement, a 3.618. It's looking for a 60. It, it's looking for a combination of confluence on Fibonacci. And that's when this fires off. Not only that, the reason the system works so good is my methodology around 85 to 90% of our trades are with trend retracements. We only have counter trend trades around right around 10 to 15% of the time. And I'll show you how to do that later on in the session here. But look at this, my line in the sand. That's the last level of retracement you can look for. Sure enough, Market Delta had a big sell here. Market Delta had a big sell here. And look at the market start tank.
I mean, this is called retracement trading. Traders need to understand retracement trading is where it's at. It's not about the 50 crossing the 200 or the MAC crossing this way or my moving averages are down. Let's look for a stochastic that gets overbought at 80 and when it comes back down through, let's sell it with trend. No, because you know what? You may get four good trades like that and then one trade could wipe you out. So, you know, you just can't trade lighting indicators. This is the internals of the market, what we're seeing right here. And the line of sand, look at this. I mean, look at this risk you took. Look at this risk on this trade. Very, very small. The fill is at 40. You got two ticks above the swing high. You had a 13 tick stop, $130 on crude. It's all the way down to below 90. $500 trade with $130 maximum risk on this last setup. $500 trade, $130 max. That's almost a five to one reward to risk. I don't call it risk to reward. I call it reward to risk because you must know what your reward's going to be and how much you're going to risk. Because look at this swing high. This swing high has never been broken. This swing high has never been broken. You have to keep your stops in. We're not going to be right every single trade, right? Professional traders know this. So what we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we keep our losers small and we maximize our runners. Now I'll show you a way to get out of these trades. It's not on this chart, but I have my symmetry dots. If you go to daytradingthefutures.com, go to daytradingthefutures.com, I not only show you where to get in with market profile and Fibonacci analysis in market delta, I show you where to get out on excess to scale. Because the one thing that you and I do not know, the one thing you and I have no clue about, how far can the market run? My entries are to the exact bar with market delta and market profile and Fibonacci analysis. I know the exact bar to get in, but how far I run. Now, here we go. Look at my trend filter. This is the most important. Remember, I don't like moving average per se, but I like this trend filter. It's down. We sell retracements. Look how it came back up to the low value area. Consequently, look at my Fib dots firing. I got two different strategies firing at the same time. Broke through LVA. We're smarter than the average market profile traders. We're more knowledgeable. Knowledge is power. We know my trend filter is down. We don't counter trend trade only around 10 to 15% of the time. Around 85% of our trades are trend retracements. So when we're in a downtrend and then it breaks through low value, we, we're not buying low value down here in price profile. We're not buying on volume profile these solid lines. We're letting it break retest. Now consequently, look at the same time. My Fibonacci dots are firing exactly at the same time Exactly when my low value is hitting, look at market delta, right at the high. Two ticks above the swing high. Your fill's 48.10, 48.09, depending on slippage. You're down already down into the 80s, 85s, right? And you got yourself another beautiful trade in your hands. All right? Now it comes up to low value area again, price profile all by itself. Look, red Fibonacci dots. There's low value area. Come on, market delta. Give me a red bar. Show me the internals of the market. Show me there's going to be a sell and balance. Show me a sell and balance. Show, there it is, sell and balance. Boom. Now, two ticks above the swing high. Your entry is the open of the next red bar. My stop is contained. I have a small risk on the trade. Now, look at this. Not only do you have your first low value break retest with trend on volume profile, my solid lines, it broke the low value. It retested the low value price profile. My Fibonacci dots fired. and Consequently, I get a beautiful, gorgeous market delta sell. Look at these two fibs that confirm this LVA, fib retracement, fib retracement LVA. You show me one product, one product out there that can beat market profile, market delta. Show me one. It's not moving averages. It's not stochastics. They're worthless to me. Great for trend direction, but they're worthless to me because I'm looking at the internals of the market. This is what separates traders that are amateurs versus professionals. Because what we're doing here is we are actually looking at the internals of the market. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Listen to the algorithm because it's showing you what to do. My opinion means nothing. Your opinion means nothing. Look at this thing tank. Look at it. It almost stopped at the exact tick. There'll be days where you'll see traders in my room. In fact, we had a couple of traders Friday when I'm actually doing this video. You know? Couple trades in the room, two contracts, over a thousand dollars, live money, live money, two contracts. Just trading these inflection points, trading two, three times, and let the runners run. 
it's a key, guys and gals. The key is using Fibonacci analysis with market profile and then market delta to show you the entry. All right, this is a systematic day trading plan. Systematic. The key word is systematic. All right, keep your stops in. Let these two setups, setup charts, get you in the trades. Let market delta pull you in. Look at that. Break retest LVA, Fibonacci confluence. Break retest LVA, Fibonacci confluence. Now look what happened. Look at this because I had to hit a re stop on the replay. Look at this. Look at this thing. This thing tank. Our original sell was 48.15. It's all the way down to 47, almost 35. Right? Almost $1,000. Now watch. It's going to come up again. It's going to come up and retest LVA. Guess what it's going to do? It's trying to retest LVA. We'll look for the fib dots to fire. There they go. We already had a big one there. I just showed you in the last uh, trade setup. Had a big one there. Now look, we have Fibonacci dots. It's hitting my price profile. We don't use the 30-minute profiles like all these market profile participants. Let them use a 30-minute market profile. Let them. Because everybody uses a 30-minute 30 market, 30 market profile. I don't. I got this thing so dialed in. So dialed in. Check this out. Now watch. It's right on a break retest of LVA. Remember, we're smarter than our trading opponents. We know we don't buy LV in a downtrend. Let it break retest. There it is. It's right on it. There's my red Fibonacci dots. My two setup charts say we got confluence. Red Fibonacci dots. Right there is my LVA. So what are we going to do? Give me a red market delta. Show me the internals of the market. Show me I've got sellers. There it is. Close. Red market delta. Look at 1144. I just told you. I just told you anything over 200 is a major sell imbalance. For goodness sakes, I'm 1144. 1144. That's the internals of the market, guys and gals. That's telling you that's a big sell. Big sell. Big sell. 47.45. Put our stop loss two ticks above the swing high. Okay? You're starting to see a trend with this. It's the same exact setup, isn't it? So many traders out there try to fit indicators in the market. Listen, every indicator out there is going to work once. You can go back and historically on on any mutual fund probably say, hey, if you would have put $500 here and did this, you would have come out this money. That's historical. You need indicators that are leading, not lagging. Or if you look at stock entries or Forex entries or futures entries, it doesn't work that way, guys and gals, is that nothing can work over and over again, in my opinion, the marker profile market builder. Now look at this. I just said my volatility indicator here, my black line, it's a great entry right there. That's, that's called my line in the sand. Look how it touched right on it. That's another crew trade. Our trend filter was down. Look at the opportunity you get. Your fill's right around 48.10, all the way down on the first push to 85. All right? $250 per one contract. Then I get another sell retracement. Where a lot of traders fail is they don't know where to sell retracements at. They're looking at stochastics. Don't use stochastics on, it's not the internals, it's just an indicator. Moving averages are just indicators. You need the volatility indicator like this. You need market profile to show you where the internals of the market are in market delta. This is what this is showing. It's showing a high probability trade here. Our stop loss is two ticks above the swing high here, two ticks above the swing high here. Because guess what? When it's wrong, we want to take small losers. We've got to make sure we have good money management skills. Because if we don't, we should, we're going to have a losing trading plan, right? Traders typically fail. The traders that have come to me because they're counter-trend traders, right? Or they're trading moving average, stochastics, MAC, trading lagging indicators, or they try to scalp. I've never seen one scalper that, have come, that has come to me make consistent ticks in the market. you got to put a position on. Take the first off, 50% off, let's say at the first 10 ticks and the first set of the symmetry dots, which I'll show you, and then you try to let your runners run to the next profile. Now look at all these retracements. Do you think it's just by luck that this algorithm picked up all these retracements? But look at the two ones that hit the line in the sand, my volatility indicator. Do you think it's by luck that those were the two biggest trades here and down here? That's how dialed in I have this. But we have trading rules. If you do not have a plan, you will fail. The market is very, 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 right, very aggressive 
if you do not know what you're doing. Meaning, you're taking a lot of risk if you do not have a trading plan. You must have a trading plan. You must know exactly where to buy and sell to the exact bar. Okay, here we go. My trend footer is in a downtrend. Look at my magenta MA downtrend. Look at my low value area. I need to retest this within two ticks. I'm not saying come within 15 ticks or 20 ticks. My market profile is so accurate that we need to come within two ticks, maximum three of my market profile on a retest. Or I tell my traders not to get in. Here we are. There's a retest. Look at my Fibonacci confluence. Come on, Market Delta. Show me. Show me an order balance right now. Show me an order balance. You got to show me. There it is. Now we're open up at the next bar. Stop is two ticks above the swing high. Look at the reaction you get. Look at the reaction you get off of LVA. Do you think that's just by luck? Do you think it's by chance you see hundreds and hundreds of trades like this? My members, my long-term members have seen hundreds and hundreds of trades like this that just bounce right off my low value or my control point or my high value. Do you think it's by luck that my Fibonacci dots come exactly at the same price point in time on the setup? It's called being disciplined and waiting for this to line up. You must wait for it to line up. You have to let it line up, guys and gals. If you do not line it up, then you are not putting yourself in a position to win. Our job as traders, we know we're going to have stopouts. Everybody has stopouts. We know it. As long as we keep our risk small in the stopouts and we let our runners run. That's our goal. Okay? That's what we have to do. We have to make sure that we put ourselves in a position to win. Stop trading lagging indicators. They don't work. Now look at this. It turned blue. Look at this. My control point just adjusted. My control point, my blue solid blue line, it shows the most volume that's traded since midnight on that session, right? Actually, it's 1.30 uh, a.m. So that just told me my algorithm and my, my, my market profile just picked up this trade that we sold on the retest of LVA. That's the highest volume that was traded since midnight, and my traders just nailed the high at 8.00. 39. We just nailed this high because it turned blue, which tells me you better let that sucker run. You just got into a trade at the high with small risk, and now it turned blue. It tells you this market is probably in for a free fall. We've seen the S&P take over 20 points like that before. We've seen crude take over 150 ticks like that before. Gold over 100 ticks. Those are the situations let it run. Here we go. Look, our trend filter is down. Here's crude again. And I'm going to go over different markets in a second. I just want to show you the consistency of this. There's a Fibonacci retracement. Show me a market delta sell. Over, anything over 200, remember my number on my Rinko bar, anything over 200 is a big imbalance. There is the big imbalance. Look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. Because I know that my trend filter is down. I know my black line of sand is up here. I can't get above my black line of sand. If I do, then I can't take a sell retracement, the trend. Remember, I have two waves in my room. I have a motive wave and I have a corrective wave. My motive wave, I'm trying, if you know anything about LA wave, anything, you're trying to catch the impulse waves, waves three and five. What I'm trying to do with my J signal here, my Fibonacci retracement with market delta, I'm trying to catch a wave three or a wave five. They're called impulse waves. The bad thing about Elliott Wave traders or Fibonacci traders, they don't know when they get hurt counter trend trading. I'll show you a specific way how to counter trend trade the market also. It works around, uh, we only counter trend trade around 15% of the time, but I'll show you when to do it. And those are the trades where you risk around 130, 120 bucks per one contract that can explode to 1,000 bucks. And I'll show you how to do it. But I'm just showing you how, look at Market Delta. They got the foot on the pedal to sell. That's the internals of the market. That's showing you the internals. We're not trading moving averages, crossovers. This is the internals of the market, not stochastics, not divergence. This is the rhythm of the market. It's your job as a trader to make sure you're disciplined enough. Keep your stops in. Make sure you read what the algorithm is telling you. Okay? Very, very simple way how to do it. Now, like I said, this black line, I call it the line in the sand on my J signal chart. We like to use it for confluence if it tests it, but you got to be below it if you're selling. You got to be above it if you're buying. Okay, as far as 
with trend, if you're trading trend markets. Okay? But look at market delta. Still red, huh? That trade was 51 fill, 50 to 51, depending on your slippage. You're all the way down to 5018. Over almost a $500 trade again, right? 400 right now, per one contract with a maximum of 120 to $103 risk, another 5 to 1. We want to try to get around a 5 to 1, okay? 6 to 1. Let's look at other markets. Let's say, look at other markets coming up. All right, so you just let market delta keep coming down. No reason to get out when a blue, when a green market delta finally gets in on your offside of market profile, you're good to go. Now this works in all markets, guys and gals. There's your green. Let's look at the Russell 2000. Our trend footer's in a downtrend, right? Look at that. There's my low value area. Now, guys and gals, I'm going to tell you something special. What we do? I have four profiles. I show you four. Not one, not two, not three, not, but four. Look at my dots. My dots, the, the price profile control, control points, the dots. My LVA, low value areas, a solid line. If it comes within two, maximum three ticks, you got to sell. Look at this. That's confluence, my friends. What we do is we use stacked levels. When I have a profile that stacks over top of profile, I have confluence. Confluence and stack levels are key. Look at my beautiful, gorgeous market delta. Anything over 50 on my Russell 2000 is a huge selling balance. Look at this guy. It came right up within two ticks of my low value control point stacked area. And look at my negative 56. Is there any reason to get out of that trade? No. Take it all the way down to the next, next one. Let's look at another re retracement. This is happening at the same time that trade was rolling. On the Russell 2000, uh, here's my here's my Fibonacci retracements. Watch market delta. You, you don't get short just because the Fib dots are firing because there's confluence in the past. What you want to do is look for a what? Sell and balance. Show me a sell and balance. Not yet. Hold tight. Hold. 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 Wait for a sell and balance. Boom. There it is. Sell and balance. Open up the next bar. Stop is two ticks above the swing high. Now we have Russell 2000 with overall trend direction. Negative 33 selling balance down there is a big number. Now watch. Watch Mark Delta. Look at this. Look at this. Move down. We got still moving down. Now listen. When you get the Fibonacci dots, we're not selling Fibonacci dots or market profile. We're letting market delta, which is the internals of the market, set us up. Okay? We've got starting to get this. Pretty cool, isn't it? Look at the last retracement. Huge. Huge. You got to let it set up. got to let it line up. Look at market delta. Still selling pressure. No reason to get out of that market. You don't want to scout for five ticks and ticks. That's from novice traders. Let, them, let the novice traders keep getting five, six ticks. Let them do it. Let them have a reward to risk or risk reward of, of one to three. Not going to be able to survive the market if you keep giving yourself a bad reward to risk. It's about containing risk. Look at this thing. Still red market delta. Still red. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right? 77 down to 73. And there's another sell setup. We got another sell setup. Here we go. Watch. Hold. Hold. It's in a downtrend. Wait for red market delta print it. Hold. Hold. Not yet. Internals of the market say sell now. Open up at that position. Stop two ticks above the swing high. Let it roll. Let it roll down. Let it go. There she goes. We just had a major sell at 77 down to, you know, in the 74s or 75s. Now we get another one. Now we got a 77, 20, 77, 10 fill. Moving our way down to 76. Is there any positive market delta? No. Nope. Still negative. Negative market delta. All right. It's called discipline and patience. Let the system do the work for you. All right, look at market delta. Still, still red. Still going down. Still going down red. Look at that. This is what separates the average novice trader from a professional trader. Because you're letting your runner run. You're at 77. You're on the 74s again. Another $400 potential trade. 
with the maximum risk around 120, 130 bucks. Two ticks above that swing high per one contract. We're trying to get ourselves in a four to one, five to one, six to one reward to risk. So then when you get stopped out, guys, which you will, everybody does, your losers are small. Now I'm going to show you how we get stopped out even smaller. Well, let's, let's say let's say you get short up here. I'll show you in the next in the next couple setups. Let's say you got short up here, right here. And the next bar turns green. You open it up, the next bar turns green right here, right? Take a small loss, get out. I want to see, after market delta gets in, I want to see red, 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 red. Or green, 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 right here. Let's say this right here, where the line in the sand, great trade setup. Once it closes red, watch. I'm going to show you, you can, you can actually lower your risk even more than 120, 130 bucks per one contract. There's red. Open up the next bar. Stop loss, two ticks above the swing high. If this next bar, or if this next bar, or if this next bar, if it closes green, get out with a small loss. Because market delta should show bar after bar after bar of selling pressure. That's the beauty of this. So when you sold my line in the sand, and you waited for market delta to close to show you the order and balance internals of the market, right? If it closes green on the next one, or the next two, get out with a small loss. Don't even wait for a $103 loss. You get yourself a $60 loss, a $50 loss, right? When you're trying to make 600 bucks, how about trying to lose 60 bucks when you're trying to make 600? It's a hell of a plan. Market Delta can do that for you. Look at my two setups right there. Do you think that's just by luck, this Fibonacci retracements and Market Delta hit it? It's the internals of the market. Look, it's, it's still going down. Look at the Market Delta. All the way from 75, another $500 potential trade on your hands. Gold futures, check it out. Like I said, this works on all futures, all stocks, all Forex, all currency. It's the same reward to risk. Now, I put this on, on 500 times to make it fast for you because, you know, this is just the uh, J signal Fibonacci retracing by itself, and gold moves pretty quick. But I'm going to show you since 9 o'clock. I'm going to show you a, a span of, of this hour or so. Look at my cell. These dots just don't pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up. When you get into a trend market, it shows you where the retracement levels are. Look at this next retracement level. Look at this thing. Not only did it call here on a wave three, it called this wave pattern also. And it's still cranking. This goal is cranking from 87 and a half, the first push down to 81, over $600 per one contract. And then look at these additional push. There's a retracement, there's a retracement, there's a retracement. I've got this so dialed in on Fibonacci retracements. Now we don't take every Fibonacci dot, right? Because I wait till market profile breaks outside a profile or just inside a profile and then I get to work. Watch gold. Gold just happened to break low value area, my market profile, and here's the first retracement. And I'm looking for what? Now I'm looking for what? I need a market delta sell. Give me a sell imbalance. Give me a sell imbalance. Show me, pull me in the market. Don't listen to yourself. Your, right? Your opinion and my opinion mean nothing. We're looking at the internals of the market. We're not looking for a moving average cross down here or stochastic retracement or divergence. That's for the birds. We are actually looking for a reversal at a key Fibonacci retracement with trend. We need a market delta close. We need a market delta close. Okay? See if it closes. Wait. Hold. Hold. Wait for it to close. Stop loss, two ticks above the swing high. Now, if these bars close green right here, get out. Get out with a small loss. Don't risk more than 100, you know, your 130 bucks that you're risking for one contract. If they close green, I went market delta red, market delta red, market delta red. I want to see more market delta reds. I even got a technique over here. See how this turn will close red over here? There's more bars on this chart. I got a way for you to get in when it closes red over here too. On my second test profile trades, I'll wait till it closes red when my Fibonacci's turn red on, on stacked areas of market profile, and I'll enter at the first red bar. And if it doesn't close green on my first three bars, I'll stay in it. Look at that. Both techniques work. I got this thing dotted with my Renko bar. Look at that Renko bar. Look how beautiful that is. Fibonacci dots in a downtrend, showed the retracement. Market delta called the high. Okay? And we want to keep short. 
until the next profile or the next symmetry dots that come up, which I will show you how to do. Remember, go to daytradingthefutures.com. I got a 135-page PDF. I don't care if you have 55 years or 60 years experience in the market. I don't care if you have one day experience. It's all discipline. It's all execution, okay? You must know the reward to risk ratio every time you get in the trade. Traders are, are not born, guys and gals. It's a learned skill. Trading is a learned skill. Traders are not born. When I put this together, it's a learned skill. Okay, you must understand that. All right, let's go look at the Dow futures. Dow the same way. All these markets, guys, it's the same exact setup. Same exact one. We're in a downtrend. There's my volatility line up here. Is that I, I need a sell retracement below my volatility line. I'm looking for a red market delta. Just give me a red market delta. That's all we need. We just need a red market delta. That's all we need. Red market delta. Pull us in the trade. There it is. Now, on the red market delta, 79 is a huge order imbalance. Anything over 50 on the Dow is big. So 79 right there, 79. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. If it closes green, these first few bars get out, but it doesn't look. Red all the way down. Look over here on my other bar. Red. The blues don't count. Those are spinning tops and dojis. Red all the way down. Red all the way down. So either you took market delta all the way down or my reversal bar over here. Either way, once you get in with the red Fibonacci dots, if it ever closed green, you get out with a small loss. NASDAQ futures, same way. You're seeing a pattern here. There's my red reversal bar. Stop loss, two ticks above the swing high. Look how they're all red bars over here. All red bars on market delta. Gorgeous, right? That little sucker went from 67. She's still tanking. Now it's at 57 and still tanking. All red market delta. That's the internals of the market. All right, that's the internals of the market. Now I got another red Fibonacci dot pawn up. Wait, hold, 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 hold. Wait, there it is. Boom. You got it. Sell imbalance, two ticks above the swing high, right? Two ticks above the swing high. That's how we trade it. It comes up to my volatility stop line, does not close above it. Now watch price action. Watch price action. Watch price action. That's why I keep it two ticks above the swing high. Look at that. Look at that thing tank. That's an M top. Anybody know what an M top is or W bottom? The system picks it up. It picks the W's and the M's up, right? Right at my black stop line. I'll show you how to do that also. Huge move. Big move down. Another big one on the NASDAQ futures. I just showed you the Dow. I just showed you the S&P, right? I think I got the S&P actually. Uh, another one coming up here soon too. Showed you crude. I showed you gold. It works on all markets right across the board. The bottom line, guys and gals, is you let the system find the setup. Look at these two gorgeous retracements. Market Delta confirmed them both. Here we go again. Here we go again. Hold. Fibonacci retracement. Hold. Hold. Don't sell. Don't sell. Show me an order imbalance. Show me between the bid and the ass. Show me an order imbalance. Show me a sell imbalance and you do not sell this retracement. You do not sell it. Show it to me. Show me a sell imbalance. I got the Fibonacci retracement. Sell imbalance. Show me. I'm waiting for it. There it is. Two ticks above the swing high. Are the first few bars green? Nope, let her go. Look at this move. Now these are moving fast because I sped up. I, I sped the video up. All right, because I don't want a nine-hour video, but I'm just showing you the the reaction you get when this thing comes together. Here we go again. Nasdaq futures below my volatility line. We were in a downtrend on my trend filter. There's the red market delta sell stop loss two ticks above the swing high. First few bars if they close green on market delta after you get in, get out of the small loss. It does not, and it just tanks. Tanks. Look at that sell and bounce. Negative 88. Anything over 50 is huge on NASDAQ futures, and it is just falling apart. All right? You're seeing the consistency of the setup in all markets. It's the same exact setup. It's almost been working 32 years in a row right now. We don't use moving averages. We don't use stochastics. We don't use divergence on this. This is all internals of the market. Let the novice traders continue to use, if the moving average is in the downtrend, let's still a stochastic retracement. No, no, it's lagging. Internals of the market, that's the only way, in my opinion, that we need to trade. S&P 500 futures, let's check it out. Here we go. 
S and P 500. We were in a downtrend on my trend filler. I'm below my volatility line. I need a sell retracement. I need a sell retracement. Show me. Show me. Show me retracement, and we're looking for market delta. Show it to me. All right, we're waiting, waiting for a red fib dot. Waiting. Waiting for it to come up. There it is. Now, watch, watch. Now we need a market delta to show me a sell imbalance. This is the S&P 500. Listen, this thing just came from over 13, almost retraced almost to 18. It retraced almost five points where all these novice traders out there are trying to sell the retracements or they're trying to sell the low. Look, it's telling me this is the exact area I need to see a sell imbalance. Show me a sell imbalance right here. Show me a sell imbalance between the bid and the ask. Show me a sell imbalance. Close S&P. Show me a sell and bounce. Here it is. Boom. There it is. We just got a sell and bounce. Stop loss, two ticks above the swing high. Now, if this bar closes green, take a small loss. If it closes green, take a small loss. No, red. Good. Even if this bar closes green, now take a small profit or a small loss. Do not close green on my market delta. I want to see consistent market delta falling through. I want to see order imbalances. Anything over 1,500. Is a big sell and bounce on the S&P off my four Sim Rinko. It's 23.91. We had a huge, huge sell and bounce between the bid and the ask at 23.91 right here. Huge sell and bounce right there. There it is. Huge selling at my Fibonacci dot retracement. Now if this closes green, we got to get out. Look, the numbers are building, but the numbers you don't. You wait for a close. Don't worry about these numbers. Wait for a close. It closes green, we get out, right? Nope, still red, still red, still red, still red, still red. It's tanking now. Now we're tanking. Now we're tanking. We're 12, 15, 50 short. We're down in the 12s now. That's how you trade all the markets right across the board. Same exact setup. Same exact setup over and over again, okay? Let's go to the S&P. My trend filter is down. Look at my low value. Oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, can they set this up in your prettier? I mean, can they just thank you, okay? Thank you for lining the S&P up because look at my low value area on volume profile. Look at my control point price profile and my vol low value area profile. I got three times stacked area, guys and gals. Three times stacked area right here. Come up. Come up to three times stacked. We're in a downtrend. We're smarter than the average trading opponent who trades market profile. We know not to buy LVA in a downtrend. We're smarter than that. We know to let it come up. It's touching it. There's my fib dots to give me confluence on two different strategies. Here we go. Show me a sell and bounce. Show me a sell and bounce right now. Give me a sell and bounce. Give me a sell and bounce. Show it to me. There it is. There's a sell and bounce. Stop losses, two ticks above the swing high. If the bars turn green, the next few get out, a small loss. It does not. Look at that market tent. Because you're allowed to, look how broke through low value area. But that's a wick. Wicks are for novice traders. They're stop outs. This is called a straddle. This is called a straddle. Look at a tank. Look at the S&P tank. My market delta called the exact high. Look at that thing tank. Look at it. And that was three times that, guys and gals. If you get three of my profiles that stack over top of each other, look for a big runner. We just had over a 22-point runner on the ES last week on a trade like that. Over a 130-tick run on gold like that. Three times stacked. Now, remember, I have four stacked areas, four profiles that can stack within two ticks of each other, two, three ticks. Hey, my market profile by stealth with one times confluence can stop the market reverse with market delta. Wait till they stack within a couple of ticks of each other. That is what separates professionals from amateurs. Here we go, S&P. Now, I just want to show you this one. This is a long trade. I mean, a long, a short trade, but it was just a, such a good grind. My traders love this setup because it kept grinding lower and lower and lower, okay? The stacked area, guys and gals, stacked areas, remember is when profile overlaps top of profile within a couple ticks. 
That's what it is. When profile overlaps profile. Remember, go to daytradingthefutures.com. Look at my 135-page PDF. 135-page PDF. I give you trading tips, but I show you the exact same setup and how stacked profiles are the only way, in my opinion, you can trade the market. Out of all these indicators out there, all these indicators, all of them, out of all these trading platforms, all of them, in my opinion, nothing. I've seen thousands of indicators because I've, I've trained hundreds of traders, hundreds. I've never seen one indicator or set of indicators beat market profile with market delta. Not one. Not one. And I was just like you guys and gals when I started out, right out of, right out of school. Finance degree right out of school, start trading right away. Counter -tr traded the market, did this and that. And I wasn't getting it. I wasn't getting it because you can't scalp. I've been through it. You can't counter trend trade. Been through it. You can't buy and sell divergence. Been through it. You can't buy and sell moving averages. Been through it. Stochastics. Been through it. They're all lagging. The only thing is internals of the market. That's why a system like this is so accurate. It just takes discipline and patience. Waiting for the setups, discipline, keeping your stops in, and then letting your runners run. I like to teach traders, educate traders, take 50% of your position off. So if you're trading gold right here, I mean, uh, the S&P short, is it turned forwards in a downtrend, red Fibonacci dot, had a huge market delta sell. If you're trading this, this is where a lot of traders took 50% of their position off. They got short around the 2116 level. They scaled 50% of their position at the 13 level, so they banked three points. And on my symmetry dots, got them out down here around 2107. So they banked right there again, and now I have another symmetry dots, which I'll show you on the PDF if you look into it. I have several trades. I have probably over 90 charts in that PDF. Same exact setup. Hey, heck, we got almost 300 videos at daytradingthefutures.com. 300, same exact setup. 32 years, same setup. You can't fit indicators to the market. You can't change your strategy every single month. All right? I did not invent market profile. Thank you, Peter Stoudemire and your associates in 1985. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because it's the only thing with market delta I found that can consistently call these swing highs and swing lows every single day, every single week on a consistent basis. Will you have stops on some? Yes, but we know how to contain risk. Look at this S&P trade. How many times, how many traders you know out there can get short the S&P at 21.16 and you're almost up 16 points with no reason to sell? Because the volatility line's never been broken. Look how it's trailing. Look how it's trailing the volatility line. It keeps falling it. Look how that trailing stop keeps falling it. Now we're down all the way down. I just want to show you this because sometimes you'll get direct moves like this. Okay, I want to show you the big picture. This, this trade started, for goodness sakes, at 11 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. Three hours later, it gives you no reason to get out of your entire position. None. Zero. This algorithm is unbelievable how we got this thing set up. It's unbelievable. Does it show you a bunch of dots? Buy? Does it show you any blue dots to buy? Is it show? We, I made this filter. When you blow the black line, guess what? You're not getting any blue dots. No buys. None. Sell retracements. Okay? So this S&P 500 trade is just a gorgeous setup. Look at that little guy. Look how my line in the sand just keeps falling it down. There it goes, trailing it. So if I'm short up here at my 50% of my position, I'm scaling on contracts, there's no reason. You're a 2093. You shouldn't sell this contract at all until you what? You close above the black line. I mean, how many traders, how many traders ask yourself, you ever had an S&P trade that went from 21, 16, all the way down, almost 26 points now? It's hard. Not with a system like this, though. Crude oil again. Look at this. My trend filler is down. Sell low value area. I'm up into low value. I want a red bar reversal. Look at this. This thing started all the way at 30. Now, I was in the live room, and I told traders this. I was like, guys and gals, we're at 30. I need to retrace just below 70 at the low value. How did I know that? Do you think I'm Nostradamus? Do you think I'm Nostradamus that I know, I'm not smarter than the market? Absolutely not. The market's way smarter than me, way smarter than you. But what market profile does 
it tells you, it educates you where to buy and sell. Listen to the internals. You do that, you're going to do very, very well. And the heck with stochastics, the heck with moving averages for support and resistance, the heck with divergence, the heck with all these indicators. Why do you think if you go to all these platforms, they give you all these indicators for free? Do you think they work? Really? Why do you think in Stocks and Commodities Magazine and you go to when active trader is out that a lot of traders lose in the futures markets or the stock market or the forex market and only 10% actually do well? Why? Who, where, where's all the money go? The professional traders know that lagging indicators don't work. Here's another trade, crude oil. Look at this. Right in my control point. Now, guys and gals, my control point, my goodness gracious. We were tickled pink on this trade. I mean, just because I got my control point volume profile over top my control point price profile. And the control point's the most volume that's traded. Anytime you break away, we're down here at 25. We're looking for a retest up to 60. Let that sucker retrace. All these counter trend traders got smoked on the way up, on the way back up. Look at that market delta called it, 288. Look at that. Do you think that's luck? Do you think it, it's order flow, guys? Gals, it's order flow. Do you think market delta was read all the way down? Is that just luck? You're going to see hundreds of trades like this, hundreds and hundreds. I can show you all these. We almost have 300 videos on the same exact setup. It's the internals of the market. Gold, let's look at gold. Here we go. Trend filter down. Moving average down. Sell low value and control stack. There's my stack level I tell you about. I got my control point LVA. That's two times stack. Give me a red bar reversal. There it is on market delta. Place my stop two ticks above the swing high. If I close green on my market delta between the bid and the ask on the first couple bars, take a small loss. Doesn't, doesn't. Look at the tank. You see this? You see how it works? You show me any indicator or strategy. Anybody, anybody, email it to me. Show me. One strategy out there that beats this combo. Show me. In fact, I'm so confident in this. Try this out for one month. And sim trade it for one month. Lease the system for one month. You'll know right away in one month if this is a system for you or not. You don't have to trade it for six months or a year or two years. If you don't see the accuracy within one month, it's not a system for you. That's how accurate this can be. It's an extremely accurate system. Look at this. Look at this move from two times stack. Look at this. Look at this giant move. Still cranking on gold. Still cranking. That's a thousand dollar trade where you risk 130 bucks per one contract. 10 to 1 reward to risk. Still tanking. All right? Listen, my friends. Trade order flow. In my opinion, nothing beats market profile, market delta. Read the PDF. Come to the live room in a three-day free trial. Don't take my word for it. Watch the algorithm trade. You don't even have to even speak to me or my associate, Gerald. Just watch how it works. Watch it live. Let the algorithm tell you how it works. Don't take my opinion. My opinion means nothing. Your opinion means nothing. Let the market tell you when to buy and sell. All right? Look at that gold trade. It told you the exact level at the high. Okay?